like especially like thick or anything. Uh, I don't want them to be like too thin. I guess like the character's legs are a little bit too like they're a little bit noodly, not in a bad way though. Uh, actually, that wasn't good. Uh, <laughs> I um. I want to get rid of those two pixels down here. I just don't want to accidentally touch the rest of the shape. Because <laughs> the rest of it's fine. It's a little flat on the bottom, but that's normal. Uh, it's how it usually is. Alright, so that's, I guess, fine for now. Okay, so then the other thing I was going to do... I don't know if, how this is even going to work, but, like... I mean, the detail that I had drawn on earlier was, like, a... Yeah, that works fine, I guess. Basically just, like, a... I don't even know what this is exactly. It's basically just, like, a detail on the boot... Uh, and then, I guess the other thing, I might as well draw it in now, is that the belt would come up like, uh, like this. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to add in the, uh, we're not going to add in the, uh, the plate flaps on the side of the belt yet, but, uh, but it'll at least be like a piece of context so that when we add that in, it won't be just like hanging in space. It'll just like there's actually a belt for it to come to. Which is subtle, but whatever. Uh, I prefer when things make sense <laughs> to when they don't. Um, and I'm not going to add the like the the cap on the, the knee or anything. That'll come with the uh, that'll come with the leg armor. Uh, Alright, so that's I think fine for that frame. So let's uh now let's do the other visible frame, uh, which is legs two. So for starters, let's uh, snag the boot and go adjust the brightness contrast as such, and then uh, deselect. And then we can, uh, as with before, we can we can draw in the. Am I? The, um, I'm on the correct layer. Hey, how'd that happen? I meant to be on this layer, and then I was? What? What? How'd I get here? Did one of you guys put me here? Did someone sneak onto my computer when I wasn't looking and put me on the correct layer? That was awful sweet of you. Look at all those, like, several seconds that got saved by not accidentally drawing on the wrong layer, realizing I was drawing on the wrong layer, and then going back and drawing on the correct layer. What a time saver. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, yeah, these boots are fairly simple, uh, which is nice. They just, uh, yeah, the only the only different thing about them is the uh, is this little detail. And it's actually, so far, it's pretty easy to draw. At least I'm not. I don't feel like I'm having any difficulty rendering it. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, actually, I feel like it should be slightly further down. Uh, I feel like it came up a little high. Because, like, this is supposed to be the heel, and so the heel is supposed to be a bit narrow, I feel like. So, yeah. Uh, and that might be coming t a little too far around, because it should actually get covered up by the, uh, by the front of the ankle a little bit sooner. Okay. That's fine. Perfect. Excellent. And then, actually, one thing that didn't occur to me until after I had drawn this side was that um, there actually should be like the slightest amount of shading on this detail. So, I'm just going to put that in. Uh, so, not that much shading, <laughs> but just like, uh, like this part of it should be like in the darker color. Okay, cool. Uh, excellent. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to save, safety save this, just in case I accidentally, like, do something stupid and delete stuff. But then also I'm going to, uh, uh, screenshot, uh, this frame of an leg animation, and then just kind of paste it in a new thing, so that way, if I want to switch back and reference how this one looked, uh, when I'm working on the other half, I, I can just switch between tabs instead of having to toggle and re-toggle and untoggle and blah blah blah, like a million different layers. So, um, it's only, like, four layers, but that's still annoying. So, let's just not. Oh, and the belt, too. I'll have to remember to see the belt in both frames. Otherwise, it'll be, like, this magical belt that, like, appears and disappears. 
Actually, maybe I should just copy and paste the belt between frames. Uh, for starters, that doesn't tend to work ultimately because like the legs change position, and so it looks weird to have it. Uh, or like it, like the yeah, it's it's not gonna work exactly, but um, it might be a good starting point. Uh, all right, so let's grab from legs layer zero, copy, hide that. Let's add a new layer and put this on the new layer, and then uh, wait, why is it? Oh, wait, yeah, no, why is this? There's all this other stuff on top of it. Is that? That's supposed to be there. What the heck is that? And why isn't it visible? Wait, where was that coming from? Oh, it's on legs layer zero. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So, legs layer zero apparently comes up too high. Uh, Alright, I was like, what is that? What on earth is that? But it's like, uh, oops, again, wrong layer. Uh, yeah, so like, right, so part of the reason the belt doesn't work exactly is, cause, oops, is because of uh, the differences in shading as such. And the other thing is like this leg that comes up, it, like, it just, I don't know, it just resolves slightly differently, so, I don't know, it's weird, but it like, even though it's like literally, I just copy and pasted the belt from one layer to the other, it just doesn't work like that. So, it works like this instead. Uh, so at least like, yeah, it has like the same foundation roughly, so, um, that's fine. I guess the belt just shifts a little bit when you, uh, as you run. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, is it? I'll bring it up even slightly higher, just a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's fine. Uh, I mean, it's a little funny that, like, this person's supposed to be running, and it, their knee, like, barely comes out any distance from their torso. I guess that's probably what's weird, is that, like, I think, like, if this were drawn a little more, uh, realistically, or, like, less poorly, then <laughs> it would just, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Uh, wait, what was, uh, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, oh okay, yeah, so I haven't, uh, I haven't shifted the, uh, the brightness and contrast on these layers yet. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's select the foot and, uh, adjust, uh, brightness contrast and, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, I can actually squish these layers together because the belt is in place now. Uh, right, brightness contrast, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, I got a lot of the ankle that time because I got really sloppy. Uh, but that's fine because it's going to get drawn over anyways. Uh, but yeah, and so what did the... Uh, so it came, like, right under the knee. Like, right up to the knee. But, like, not over the knee. Uh, so, like, right about that high. Uh, do -do -do. And, yeah. So, uh, yeah, about that, I think, except it's got a little thick around the ankle somehow, uh, so let's bring that back slightly, yeah, I don't know what that was about, I didn't mean to flatten out the toe though, so, that's, they look a little bit like galoshes, maybe that's why I wanted to put the, uh, the stripe of detail across them, because otherwise they look like a little bit like galoshes. Um, uh, and it's, I think like there's, I think like a better artist could probably render these boots without making them look like galoshes, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't, apparently. Um, or I didn't. I failed. <laughs> I failed to not make these galoshes. Um, oh, this like might be almost, almost entirely covered up. So, um, so let's, uh, let's, uh, we'll switch over to that layer, and, uh, let's do the brightness contrast thing, do, 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 do. and, uh, key, okay. uh, deselect, and then, uh, so, oops, bigger brush. Uh, do, 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 do. 
So yeah, this boot, these legs are like pretty out of proportion. I, I think they were actually, I think when I first drew the legs, they were pretty close to proportional. But then um, the animation looked really weird. Like it didn't look like a walk animation. It just looked like weird, like noodly squiggly lines. And so I had to go back and uh, and change it a lot, just in order to get it to look like legs moving instead of like, I don't know what else it looked like exactly. But uh, yeah, the end result is that like, although the legs look roughly like legs animating now, they um, are just not in proportion. Like they're weirdly shaped relative to each other and like relative to the rest of the phys physiology. Of, uh, of this character, so, I don't know, let's go with it, it works well enough, so, no harm, uh, I guess, uh, okay, so then, uh, uh, the ankle line, which, actually, yeah, it came really close to the heel on the other frame of animation, so it should come really close to the heel again, uh, and which did I color pick the right color? Uh, oh yeah, again I keep I keep bringing it like way too far. It should actually only come down a little bit because it gets covered up by the uh, by the uh, the ankle. Uh, mm, mm, <laughs> ah, there we go. All right. Uh, so, uh, cool. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty good for the for the likes. And then of course. Uh, yeah, so for the other um, for the other frame event, well, I might want to I might want I might want to animate the uh, like the floppy uh, the floppy leg frame PC things um, for the uh, excuse me for the legs because I think like I think like when you, if you had those like if you had those armor things hanging down off your hips they would move a little bit, like, as you, as you moved, like, every, like, whenever you kicked out your leg, I think it would fl flap out a bit, so I might want to actually, like, animate those a little bit, um, but they're very separate from the legs otherwise, so it should be easy enough, I can just, like, add an extra layer, draw those in, and then export them as needed, but first I should export these legs. These might be one of those rare legs that don't fall on frame 61, or the, the corner doesn't fall on 61, 61, because I added in a belt, and that's usually the factor that actually brings it up slightly. So, uh, I should, yeah, I should be thorough, I guess, uh, instead of just guessing, I should, um, so I should hide chest layer 2, uh, and that'll, alright, so now I'll show all of the leg layers, uh, oh, the, now, yeah, so with that hidden, I'll, I'll show all the leg layers, and then, uh, and then I can take extents, because, uh, yeah, the, the belt comes up on this edge here, which I think is what push, pushes it to 6160 sometimes instead of 6161. And I'm just really bad at selecting things, apparently, so there's that too. So now it's 6260, but no, it's actually supposed to be 6160, uh, which is the other value that it sometimes is. Uh, I don't need this extra pixel on the end here. That's not a necessary part of the foot. Uh, okay, so... Uh, yeah, so let's get uh, legs uh, layer zero, copy, or let's do data first, actually, just so I don't forget. Uh, equip uh, legs, what do I call these ones? Uh, tall boots, I think. Uh, new folder, uh, tall boots, uh, new... Uh, uh, new text document, uh, data.txt, uh, so these are 60, oh, I have the wrong tool selected, and so it's not telling me my pixel coordinates, uh, so these ones go, uh, 6160, uh, 4722, uh, save that, all right, I don't need this open anymore. I don't need that open anymore. Tall boots, yeah, okay. Uh, tall boots, white gloves, yeah. Or no. Oh, I get the white gloves next level? White gloves plus leg armor? Yeah, right, yeah, because I wanted it. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, <laughs> so, 
Yes, okay, so I did the data and then, uh, so copy legs layer zero, file new. I can't bounce up and down while I'm drawing. So I'm taking every opportunity between, oh, whoa, what's that? That's not right. Destroy, exterminate, sketchy, whatever, flecky, whatever's. All right, save this. Uh, uh, so legs, uh, tall boots, uh, this is frame zero. Um, y'all. All right, and then, uh, so legs layer one, copy, file new. Okay, paste. How does this look? Any weird flex? Nope. All right, save that. Uh, this is layer one. Uh, back here, uh, legs layer two. Uh, copy. Uh, file new. Okay, paste. Uh, wow, look at all these flex. Look at all these weird flex. Delete. Delete. All right, save that as legs layer two. Uh, and then uh, legs three, copy, uh, file new. Okay, uh, paste. Any weird flex? Yep. Little, but still weird and things I don't like. Uh, all right, save that <laughs> as uh, leg layer three. Uh, cool. All right, so yeah, so so white gloves and leg plates are next, and we're pretty close because like after oh I, I still have to go back and do the shines on the armor, um, but once we do the uh, leg plates and gloves, we just need have the uh, the flag and then and then we're we're all set. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so leg plates. Uh, let's bring back the torso because it looks weird without a torso. Um, and I'm gonna leave the hand as missing for now, just because I want to see these uh, these leg plates things. Uh, so let's uh, let's actually start with the the second frame of leg animation. So let's hide leg layer two and hide leg layer zero. Because uh, let's do this one first. Because uh, so the reason I want to do this one first is because we'll see the back. We'll see the one in the other frame. We'll, so like we'll see. Well, like all right. I'll just start drawing it. Um, so legs layer one. Let's add in a new layer. Uh, and let's. Uh, all right. So basically, we have these like these armor flaps, right? So yeah, the reason I wanted to start with this frame animation is because this. Uh, this armor flap will come down mostly flat in this frame of animation. And then the other thing is that we'll see the other flap in the background through the legs. Uh, so let's add another layer for that, actually. And let's put it uh, down with a le beneath legs layer three. Because uh, this will actually be part of the other, this will actually be part of legs layer three. Uh, I, think. I think that's the way to do it. Probably. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I basically, so uh, I want to, so this, because this one lays a little bit more flat, it'll be easier to see, like, what the shape of the, like, I, I want to get this, I want to get this, uh, this one in the front correct, and then, uh, oh, I'm drawing another one there. Oops. Uh, I want to get this one, like, flat and looking good, uh, and then I can figure out how the other one should be shaped relative. Oh, so for one thing, it should be drawn with the other, uh, with the darker tone, but um, whatever, I won't worry about that right now. Uh, so yeah, oh yeah, so I think actually I'll probably make them a little wider. Uh, so like, just so that they look like they might cover a little more, uh, a little bit more. Uh, and I'll give them like a little bit of like a fanning shape to them. Like they'll, they'll not fan out like super much, just a little bit. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, all right, and then, uh, uh, do, 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 do. uh, mm -hmm. 
I probably should do the shines. Cause like I might I might want to change some of the shading, the shape of the shading once I do the shines. It's like I wanna do those soon, I guess. Uh oops, that was way too much. I was like, I'll take a little off of it here. No. That was way too much. Uh okay. So I think that's a pretty good shape. Alright, so now uh so now if I go back to this layer, yeah, so for one thing I wanna have done this in the darker tone, because this is gonna be shaded. Uh one thing it'll be a, a little bit flatter and like yeah so when because this leg is kicked up that that back one will be flapped out slightly so it doesn't even have to be like the exact same shape it, it won't come down like in quite the same way um uh hey asado welcome back oh hey i i meant to ask people i'm thinking of doing a signal jam for the rest of the week, I'm thinking of, uh, instead of working on side quests for the rest of the week, I'm thinking of just doing a collaborative game jam. Is that something, like, people would be interested in? Like, if I did that? Would you guys, would you guys like that? Um, I might ask in chat as well, just because I'm sure, I think at any given time, like, not everyone's listening to what I'm saying. Like, it's more of, like, a, like, an in and out sort of thing. I know that's how I am when I'm, when I'm watching a stream, so, um, so, uh, uh, hey... Uh, friends, uh, <laughs> I am thinking of uh, doing a, a collaborative on stream, uh, or a collaborative, uh, <laughs> thank you, Protosasm, a collaborative, uh, ga <laughs> excellent use of technology, a collaborative game jam, uh, live on a stream uh, for the uh, rest of the week. Uh, starting tomorrow, uh, is uh, that something that you uh, would, uh, uh, is that something that would interest you, uh, interest you, uh, there we go, okay, uh, cool, all right, <laughs> yeah, um, oh yeah, so the, so the way Signal Jam works, uh, if you haven't seen it before, um, the first day is one of my favorite days. I mean, they they all have their own distinct personality. The first day is fun because uh, we all, the first thing that we do, like the way we kick off a signal jam is we all get together. Uh, like I'll start up the stream and then we'll give it like a little time. I'll probably like, you know, I'll probably like do little fiddly whatevers to pass the time until, maybe we'll play side quest until we, until we get a few people there. And then, the, cause the first thing that we do is we, we, we brainstorm themes and then we uh, we all vote on what we want the theme of the jam to be. All right, cool. So yeah, we'll probably do this tomorrow because so far the reaction has been uh, fairly positive. So uh, um, it's also just uh, I'll, 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 I will get back to explaining how it works. But um, actually, I can draw while I while I explain how it works. Uh, it's also uh, in my experience they they're more fun like the more people we have, especially for the first day. <laughs> Like, for the rest of the project, it's, like, you know, you know, it goes, like, pretty much any other project. I mean, not, like, any other project, but, like, uh, so for the first day, uh, we figure out, like, we, we, we vote on what we want the theme of the jam to be, and then we've, we, like, it's, like, I, I kind of want it to be this rolling process. We, we've kind of been doing it in phases before. Everyone can basically, like, submit, like, anything that they want. Like, they, like, you say, like, you know, like, first person, or, like, you know, like, world building, or, like you know, like, uh, isometric, or, like, you know, you just, like, you, sh you shout out, like, uh, what you want, like, a game to be, or, like, what, like, what, what aspects of a game you want, and then, um, and then we vote on those, too, and the thing about those is that they're not mutually exclusive, so, like, we might end up doing, like, an isometric first-person city builder, or, like, or world builder, or I forget what I called it, but, like, like, we might end up, so we just kind of try, we try and incorporate, like, as many of those as possible, and then, like, over the course of the project, we keep, um, yeah, we keep, like, trying to, like, figure out what the game will be. Like, what's kind of, like, what I do most of the time, except, um, I like, um, I like, I like to do signal jams, because it's an, ex it's an opportunity that I don't have to be so, like, I, my, one of my least favorite things about streaming is how I have to put up this wall between, like, between what I'm doing and, like, and what's going on, like, and the, so the nice thing about signal jam is, like, we can just, like, we can, like, just bust loose and like everyone like ev people make uh people make art and send me art and then i put the art in the game and like it's like it's like a very collaborative project process which i used to do it a lot more often but i got out of the habit and uh 
I got distracted with other stuff, and, uh, so, yeah, so, I almost, I almost, uh, the only reason I didn't start it earlier today is because it occurred to me, wait, if I, if I try and do Signal Jam right now, SideQuest is going to start crashing, and then I'm going to have to start fixing SideQuest. <laughs> so that's why I've been fixing crashes today, <laughs> is because, uh, <laughs> is because, uh, I want it to. I want it to not be crashy, so that we can actually do it tomorrow. So uh, yeah, tell your friends. <laughs> it'll probably. Uh, let's say. I think it'll probably start tomorrow at noon. Let's say so, like noon time t tomorrow. Actually, noon time. I might want to try and do it at eleven. Eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Let's say that. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um. Uh, okay, so, uh, oh, I said I was going to draw and talk at the same time, and I did not actually end up doing that. So how does this look, though? How does this, uh, in terms of, uh, the overall aesthetic, the overall outcome of this look? Oh, yeah, one of the things I said I was going to do and didn't really do is I was thinking I was going to make the pants a little puffier, but I guess I don't really have to. I don't know, I don't, eh, it, it it wouldn't really be very noticeable either, because as soon as I put these leg plates on, it would be uh, it would be fairly covered up. You know what I don't like about these leg plates right now is uh, I wanted it to be wider, but I shouldn't have widened it in the front. I should have widened it in the back because now it looks like it it does it looks like it's like I don't know weirdly restrictive. Yeah, I want it to be like a little more like back and out. So like I guess like that is probably good. Uh, uh, yes, that is much better. Uh, cool. So, uh, yeah, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, so I have to add the shine, of course, but I think that's actually pretty good. And so for the, so yeah, so if you like the frame of animation, I want to do something fairly similar. So I'll duplicate this layer, uh, and then let's switch over to the other frame of animation. Uh, I'll duplicate both of these layers, I guess. Uh, and hide these, and then show these other legs. Uh, show, where's the other one? Oops, this is supposed to, yeah, no, that, that's correct. Wait, what's, oh. Oh, no, no, this is supposed to come up here. Yeah, and go here. There we go, okay. So, yeah, so in this frame of animation, this is going to get kicked up a little higher, and this other one in the background, which is just looking kind of like muddy right now, is going to come down a little bit, I think. Yeah, so, all right, let's do that. Let's do the one in the background first. Because the one in the background right now is just like, it's just kind of like messing stuff up. It's not really adding anything. So let's, uh, let's shape it. I guess, yeah, it'll come down a little more like that, I guess. And I can actually just like cheat that further and like hide even more of it if it just if it if I don't like what it's doing to the look. But um, yeah. So then the other thing is that uh, this one is going to come up slightly. Uh, so right. So let's go back up to this layer and uh, and just like lift it up a little bit. So it's going to come a little a little further up and a little further out, and it's going to come a little higher like this. Just because it gets like I think it should actually be a little narrower too. Actually, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna narrow it a bit. Uh, cause like it, I think it wouldn't just get kicked out, it would get kicked like forward a little bit, cause like the leg is coming forward, so because of the perspective you wouldn't see quite as much of et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and so, yeah, it's a little bit, like it's a little bit, I don't know, I kind of wish it was a little more clear what was happening here, uh, but I think this should be enough. And the shine I think will actually help in this case, because the shine will help distinguish the shapes, hopefully. Uh, is that too dramatic between these two frames of animation? No, I shouldn't worry about too much about like the distinction between the frames of animation. I shouldn't worry too much about the distinction between the frames of animation, because as long as... I should, I, should, I should worry more about like each individual frame of animation looking okay. Um, uh, so how, how does that look? It's like, it goes from like that to like that. Yeah, that's not too dramatic. I could actually probably have gone more dramatic with it. Uh, Alright. Uh, hey! Uh, <laughs> Wolfreen, how's it going? 
So you, you might have noticed by now, you have a character in the game. Um, yeah, so the, uh, so here, actually, let's, uh, I'll, I'll give an example of an event, because I've been meaning to do this more today. Uh, I got, I got a bit distracted by it. Um, oh yeah, so, so you went to town, you restocked supplies. Unfortunately, they, they didn't have as many supplies as you, uh, as you would have, uh, as you would have hoped for, but, um, you're at least, you're at least ready to, so, to adventure out. So, uh, you, uh, you set, uh, you set back, uh, out, uh, into the, uh, uh, thick, uh, 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 into the, uh, oh, look, we are headed to the forest, too, so that's convenient. <laughs> so you set back out into the, uh, the, uh, the thick, uh, woods, and, uh, um, so yeah, so what, what, so yeah, right, so you're headed to, uh, you head to the back blacksmith, um, you, uh, so I guess, like, what, I guess you could just, you could make it there, although, I guess you kind of got a little bit off course, because you got chased by goblins, right, so, um, so, it would be, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Asada, <laughs> I'm slow to type, but, uh, um, yeah, the, uh, the, um, so, yeah, uh, it's, so it's, uh, uh, after a, a, a long uh, hike, uh, uh, it's uh, it's getting uh, late. Um, if you uh, <laughs> I am um, if I'm not a side quest effectively, I really need to get better at like at like coming up with events. I am. Um, I think it's the sort of thing that, like, the more I do it, the more I'll, like, the more I'll have, like, a vocabulary, or, like, a, not, like, a vocabulary, but, like, a, a kind of, like, a, a roster of, like, events, uh, oops, <laughs> oops, I think I just tore my shirt, uh, pardon, <laughs> um, I'll have, like, more, like, in my, in my brain, and so it won't, it won't take me, like, they'll, they'll come quicker, I think, hopefully, uh, that's the idea, anyways, and, uh, uh, <laughs> I, um, in the meantime, let me think, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, my brain. So you, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, a, uh, I this I really have to get over it eventually, but like whenever I start to write an event, I just always like I always think of the fork in the road. Maybe I should just like come up with a better way to like have like forks in the road in this game because uh uh <laughs> I like that you guys can uh can write events faster than uh than I do. Uh <laughs> But, um, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> sorry. So, like, uh, uh, all right, no, okay, so you set back into the woods. Uh, it's not getting late. It's, <laughs> um, the ore is getting heavy, is what's is what's happening. So the uh, the ore is uh, is getting uh, heavy. Uh, uh, you'll uh, you'll need to uh, to uh, take uh, turns uh, 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 dragging uh, the uh, uh, the the metal uh, and uh, cutting. Uh, through, uh, brush, I guess. How's that? That's probably slightly too long. Oh, it's exactly 139 characters! Blammo! <laughs> Eat that! <laughs> um, alright. <laughs> so, oh, I should choose an event type. It's probably better if I choose an event type. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's so. What happened is, uh, 
the event type thing that uh, Asada was talking about. So, uh, as you notice, there are uh, there are action tags uh, indicated by the the pound sign, and uh, and so yeah, there it is. <laughs> and uh, there's there's more to it. It's just uh, that's the that's the point of the game that we're at. Uh, I'm working on some character art for the game. Uh, gradually. Uh, no, I'm making progress. Gradually. <laughs> what layer am I supposed to be on? This layer. Uh, so, yeah, wait. What did the two frames of animation look like? Yeah, I, I shortened it a little too much by accident. Alright, so I'm going to go in just with a very thin brush and just lengthen it a little bit. And I'm on the wrong layer, of course. Of course I'm on the wrong layer. Of course I am. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Hopefully that's fine. I think that's fine. It's probably fine. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. And then, uh, so, yeah, we'll... I think, I know this is weird, because I just did, like, the opposite with the other layer, but I think I'm going to actually slide it forwards a click, because I think I brought it to, oh, why is there that weird dot up on the torso? I don't care. I think I might, do I like it better like that, or, I don't know, I think when I was, like, reshaping it, I, like, I kicked it out a little too far back. No, I did kind of intend to do that. So maybe it's fine. Yeah, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it like that. Uh, okay, but I do, yeah, so I do want to put in the shines because uh, it still needs that. And then, uh, what languages do I speak? Like, uh, like spoken languages? I speak. Uh, I speak. Uh, oh, that event should have been multi. <laughs> it just occurred to me. I speak uh, English. Is is the only like actual language that I speak fluently, fluently. I'm mostly fluent in English, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, Alright, and then, uh, yeah, uh, so, that's the, that's the end of the, no, there's, there's slightly more metal to put in. Yeah, and I'm actually putting it in now. Yeah, you're right, because, yeah, so, okay, so once I put in this, the rest of this metal, then I'll actually be at a point where I can uh, start shining stuff and getting it to look right and whatnot. So, alright, so let's, uh. So yeah, leg zero. Let's uh, let's just start slapping in these uh, these metal pieces. Because uh, last the last detail is the knees, the bee's knees, the <laughs> no, just the knees. Because uh, they're just little metal uh, metal plates on the knees. Because uh, why not? Uh, do do do. Uh, and then yeah, just like that. And then they'll, they'll be partially visible on, like, the lower, like, the back legs, kind of. Uh, so, like, on leg layer two, we'll just see, like, a little bit of it peeking out. It won't be, like, shined or anything. It'll just be, like, a little bit of extra metal visible there, partly visible. Uh, just to peek. Okay. And then, uh, so that was simple enough. So now let's switch over to the other leg layers. Uh... And add those, and then we'll be G to G. Good to go. Whoops, that was the wrong layer. Uh, back and chest layer one, no. <laughs> legs layer, no, legs layer one, and the layer 27. There we go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was strangely difficult. Um, all right, so uh, bigger brush, slightly bigger brush. Uh, neat. Whoops, wrong layer. Wow, that was a really wrong layer. That was like an incredibly wrong layer. That was like one of the wrongest layers I've, I think I've ever drawn on. So wrong. <laughs> so incredibly wrong. Um, did I... Uh, yeah? Alright. These... These freaking legs. Are so weirdly shaped. They make It makes it hard to like put things relative to the knee. And I get yeah, and I keep insisting on doing so. I keep insisting on putting things relative to the knee, despite the fact that these legs are like weirdly shaped, uh, and like it's all cheating. But whatever, I don't care. 
Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, oh, the event's still happening, isn't it? Uh, doop. Uh, I, um... Uh, good job. Excellent work. Uh, where's the rest of the arm? Yeah, I, I, cause I was working on, uh, this area here. I, I hid the rest of the arm. So, like, for example, if we go, uh, if we go, like, where is it? Uh, so, there it is. Yay, look. There's, uh, so it's totally there. I just, um, when I'm working on the belt area, like here, I, 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 you know, it would cover up too much, and so I just, I just keep it hidden. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, hey, congratulations to, uh, was it, was it Wolverine who leveled up? Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> uh. So, yeah, alright, so one more knee piece, and then, and then shine. Time to shine. Uh. Alright, so layer, uh. Legs layer three, uh, doop doop doop, and then, yeah. So just that's like the that's the same little knee pieces that we're seeing, except, uh, yeah, you, you only catch a glimpse of them uh, here. All right, so save this. Uh, sorry, I'm not actually going anywhere. I'm just gonna turn off the microphone for one second, but I'll be right back. Uh, sorry, just one second. Sorry for the delay. Uh, okay. Um, let's, uh, oops. Uh, all right, shine time. Shiny, shiny, everything shiny, everything shiny, so shiny. Uh, I should do, yeah, no, I'm just gonna do all of it. All of it forever. Uh, all right, so let's take the shine color. And uh, so chest, uh, Chest zero is where we put the, uh, it's where we put this arm piece. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of ease, I'm actually going to do this all on one layer. Because it's going to be way easier to do it that way. And then, uh, and then I can come back and put it on the appropriate layers later. So, yeah. All right, so layer 31. Uh, so we have our color picked. And then uh, we can just, uh, so we can start adding in the shine. Uh, it can be, it can be, it doesn't have to be, like, super intense. It's just, uh, how did I have it spec'd out before? I just, yeah, I just had, like, basically just, like, rim lighting a little bit. Just, like, you know, just, like, a cat, ca uh, just a little bit of a, of sheen on the edges, just to indicate that, like, you know, there is, like, a, uh, metallic, uh, tone to this. Actually, I guess I might as well put it along the bottom line here, too. Uh, and then over here, just slightly. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look bad. Uh, I will want to do the other frame of uh, leg animation as well, but that'll be easy enough. Uh, that was That's one of those things that, like, if I tried to do that piece by piece, like, I would have, I would have been constantly displeased by how it looked and I would have tried like I would have spent like a ridiculous amount of time like trying to get um uh <laughs> I would have spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to get it to look right even though it looked fine like in the original form um but yeah so I just but seeing it all together like it was much it's much easier to be like yes that is that is okay that is fine uh okay so now uh right I did that on a whole bunch of weird layers so now let's uh put it down onto the correct layers so uh, so cut this, uh, new layer, uh, this one's for chest zero, right? I think this is, uh, chest zero is the arm piece, yeah. All right, so squish these together. Uh, yes, and then so this, uh, so the, uh, the, the shine here, this is for chest, uh, two. So cut that, uh, chest, uh, chest two, where's chest two, chest two, uh, new layer, paste, uh, squish, 
good. And then, uh, oh yeah, so the, I haven't even mushed together the uh, the leg layers yet because, uh, so where is it? Layer 31, uh, select, uh, this is for, these both are for leg layer. Uh, cut these both uh, because these are both for, they're both for leg layer zero, kind of, but we have this layer 27, oh no, for legs layer one, excuse me, uh, but we have this layer 27, which uh, which has this uh, flappy piece on it, so we have to squish down onto that layer first. So we'll squish down onto flappy layer, and then we can squish it all together, actually, because I think I'm satisfied with the rest of it, too. Uh, all right, and so that's like layer one. I was supposed to draw this little nubby piece on like layer one. I forgot that. Uh, yeah, for for like the legs are weird because like uh, for oops. Uh, oh yeah, where did I draw? I, I draw it. I drew it on like layer three. So cut that. Uh, new layer. Uh, paste. Put this up here, yeah. So the it's weird. It's weird how the legs work, I guess. Uh, but they work, so that's the important part. Uh, all right, so this is legs, uh, legs one, uh, and then yeah. Okay, good. Uh, deselect, uh, and then yes. So uh, hide, hide legs one. Oh, I can also I can squish together. So legs three and layer twenty eight can go together. And this, uh, this is legs three. Uh, doop -a -doop. uh, I need to, oh, you know what I need to do is, uh, I need to, uh, I need to, oh, I forgot to, while that event was live, I forgot to check if it was updating the, t the timer on the secret panel correctly. I'll assume that it was, though. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what I forgot to do is, uh, when I, cr when I successfully create event, I, I don't get rid of the uh, the text in that box, although I should. Uh, so, sorry, I'm just going to make a quick code change real fast. It was just one of those things that, like, it used to happen automatically, and I didn't have to worry about it, but then I changed other things, and now I, ha I do have to do it manually if I want it to happen. So, um, where is it? It's a... Uh, oh, so, yeah, so it's going to create an event. Uh, so, create event... Uh, uh, pev text, yeah. All right, so schedule insert in an event. Uh, so pev uh, text. Uh, what is it? It's like clear. Uh, or delete or something. What is the command? Yeah, pev text delete to kinter to end, or uh, one point zero to t kinter end. Yeah. Uh, so this here. Uh, all right. Uh, just a small thing, but like it was just getting confusing because like my secret panel had like all this weird text in it, and if I accidentally hit the wrong button, I would blah blah boring stuff, whatever. All right. <laughs> so all right. So save uh, save that, and I'm not gonna restart the script now or anything, but someday I will, and then it'll all work magically, magically great. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, Oh yeah, did I squish these layers? I did, so now those are together on the same layer. Okay. And then, uh... Oh, there's... Oh yeah, that's... Crufty... Crufty whatever... Schmutzy... There's just this, like... I don't know. Since because I'm working with, uh... I'm not working with, uh... I'm not working with, uh... Pixels. I'm working with, uh... Like, soft brushes, so... Uh, I... Sometimes there's, just, like, this, like miscellaneous whatever stuff that just gets like stuck on the image or like gets just like stuck random places like this for example and uh i just i guess i try and clean it up when i can <laughs> all right um so legs layer one zero and and layer 27 so yeah these these are not shiny yet let's make them shiny let's be making the shines uh, so fairly straightforward. Oops. Wow. I'm getting really good at drawing on the wrong layer. Like I'm like the, the extent 
like the extent to which the layer that I draw on is wrong has been increasing at like an exponential pace. Uh, oh yeah, right. Uh, and look, I, I did the double wrong layer. I drew on the wrong layer and then I drew on another layer and it was also wrong on that layer. So I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty good at this. Oh my gosh, it was the triple wrong layer. Cause like, cause then once I was, once I finally got to the right layer, I decided, wait, I'm going to draw on a separate layer. Uh, <laughs> I'm pro. I'm a professional layer misdrawer person. Uh, how did the other layer look? Let's uh, let's bring back legs layer one for a second just to see how that compared. I think I yeah I, I overdid it a little bit with the. Uh, Right, so undo you, undo you, undo you, undo you, undo you. All right, I overdid it with the with this lower line here, which is why I'm drawing it on separate layers. Whoops, <sighs> always the wrong layer. So I'm drawing this on separate layers so that I can change it and touch it up as needed. And that went too far in the other direction, so let's see if we can't get a balance here. Uh, that should be good. Uh, it's a little bit low. Whatever, that's, that's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Oh, yeah, and then, the, and then the, the knee. How did the other knee look? Yeah, about like that. Uh, maybe dial it back slightly. But otherwise, that, I think that looks good. All right, so lastly, almost lastly, we, st we do still need to do the... Uh, oh, I never updated the uh, the straps on the chest plate, although I should do that too. Uh, yeah, and then, so lastly, lastly, will be the flag, but uh, this is the last, uh, some of the last uh, armor detail work. All right, so uh, cut from this layer. Actually, at this point, I can just use this layer, right? Because the only thing that's left on that layer is this. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, I can just smush this down and this down, and now that's all on the same layer. Good. Ugh, what is this? What is this garbage up here? Get rid of that. Wait, what? Oh, what is this garbage up here? Get rid of that. There we go. Uh, and then... Is that everything? Yeah, that is everything. All right, so I have not... Ex oh, yeah, so I need to re-export a lot, right? Because I just added the shine to the chest piece. Oh, and actually, before I re-export the chest piece, I should I should add the, uh, the leather straps to the chest piece. So I'm going to hide uh, chest layer 0 briefly, just so I can uh, go in on chest layer 2 and put in these uh, these straps in a darker tone because like when I was using the uh, the light gray, it just didn't it didn't read as different. It didn't read as like it, it just looked like a weird like extension of the uh, the metal. But I just want to put in a little bit of that just to differentiate it. And I can I can be a little bit better about how I handle this. Uh, I can be like uh, I'll go in a little bit thicker at first, and then I can use the uh, the purple to carve it back to the correct shape. Uh, yeah. And actually, let's use the dark purple to uh, to bring it down. Uh, no, actually, that's fine. That's fine how it is. All right, so let's, yeah, let's, 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 let's bring back the uh, shoulder piece, and uh, uh, so chest zero. All right, there it is. This is our warrior. Uh, well, this is like our Marauder character, because, like, <laughs> he still has the sickle. <laughs> but um, pretty soon that will get replaced. Um, all right, so so what do I need to re-export? I need to re-export the shoulder piece. But again, like, these are all internal lines, so, like, none of the, uh, n like, none of the shape really has to change. All I really have to do is, uh, so, like, for chest zero, I just have to go, I, like, take a piece of this, right, uh, and then copy that, and then... So file open. This one gets applied on two places because this was both on the uh, this is on the chest uh, shoulder armor uh, as well as uh, so let's place this because this like slots in right over. Wait, hold on. How's this line up? <laughs> I'm gonna do it on a separate layer just so I line it up correctly. Uh, paste. Uh, Oh, I should do I should do it by the end, by the the tip. That'll be easier to line up. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, 
Oh, whoops, undo. Uh, delete, and then, yeah, that's good. Uh, so squish that together. Uh, save that. Okay. And select all. Uh, file open, because uh, this also appears in the uh, chest plate on layer zero. Uh, so paste that and save that. And then, also on the chest plate, uh, I can close these, because these ones are not going to change. Uh, oh, the white gloves! I still haven't done the white gloves yet! Okay, so I do still have to do that. Can't forget that. Uh, okay. I can just... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dang <Dagged. laughs> Sorry, I just saw your comment about looking like a modern Freddie Mercury. I take that as a compliment. I take that as very high praise. Uh, so thank you. <laughs> I try. Wait, why is this? Oh, this is the this is the screenshot that I took earlier. I was like, wait, where'd all my work go? <laughs> um, all right, and then uh, yeah, so the chest piece. Uh, uh, so chest layer two. Uh, let's copy this and file open. This was only in one version. This was in the chest plate. Uh, so, oh wait, it, but I have to do more than just the uh, right because it's actually I forgot I did the straps too. So I have to get all the straps and all the shine. So copy this. Uh, paste, uh, yeah, that's better. This one I can probably line up without having to, yeah, I think that's lined up. Uh, all right, so, right, that's, that's like how it used to look. Yeah, okay. Uh, save that, and, and then what? And then, uh, yeah, all right, so now I can re-export the new legs, and I do have to do the, the white gloves. Um, I have to redo the gloves, like, when I do the flag anyways, so I might just, uh, No, I can do it in two pieces. Yeah, no, that's not... <laughs> that's not so bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Alright, so... Uh, uh, deselect. Uh, and then... Uh, yeah, so the legs. The new legs. Uh, so let's show all of them. Let's hide the chest. Let's hide chest layer 2. And show all of the legs. Whoa, where's legs layer 3? Oh, I haven't merged legs layer 3 and... Or no, I haven't merged legs layer 2 and layer 28. So let's do that. Uh, this is legs layer 2. Which now includes the little flappy piece. Good. Uh, Alright, so show legs layer 3. Uh, show legs layer 1. Alright, so let's get extents on this. <laughs> this mess of legs that we have here. Uh, hey, look at that. Sniping it. Hitting it the first time. Blamo. Uh, Alright, so legs layer zero. Let's copy this. Uh, file new. Okay. Paste this. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like I said, a little crufty, whatever is like just getting stuck. Whoops, wrong tool. Uh, or I thought I grabbed the, <laughs> the square selection, but I did not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So data too. Uh, I don't think the data actually changed. I think the data is probably the same as from what it was before. So I think I can actually stick with uh, the same data from Tall Boots. Uh, so I'll make a new folder. Uh, uh, leg armor uh, and new. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I'm just falling over while standing up. Don't mind me. Um, all right. So the. Oh wait, no. I was gonna. I was gonna just paste the old data. Yeah, replace that. Because I think that's probably the same, right? Uh, 150. Wait, what? What is the selection area? Uh, 6160, 4722. Yeah, okay, good. Same. Uh, okay. And so, uh, so copy, so, so copy from Legacy Layer 0. File new. Uh, okay. Oh no, I already copied. Oh, right, oh, right. Well, that's fine. But uh, all right. So save this. Uh, save as uh, uh, layer zero. Save it in the correct folder, <laughs> so as not to accidentally trash other data. Uh, leg armor. Uh, legs layer zero. All right. Save that. Uh, yes. And then uh, right. So now it's copy from legs layer one. Copy. Uh, paste, uh, save that as legs layer one, uh, copy from legs layer two, copy file new, 
Okay, paste. Uh, ah, these little crufty whatevers. Where do they come from? Where do they come from? I know where they come from. They come from sloppiness when I'm editing like image and blah 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 layers and stuff. Whatever. <laughs> Um, Alright, so uh, save this as this is layer two, I think, right? And then, uh, and then lastly, layer three. So copy uh, file. Oop, not open. Uh, file new. Okay, paste, save, and yes. Oh, was there any weird craftiness left in this one? Nope, this one looks good. Alright, uh, deselect. Uh, Hey. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, those are good. And now, uh, and now what? Is there anything else I need to like re-export or re-update? I mean, I, know I still need to do the white gloves, but other than that, I think I think we're in good shape. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Tall boots. Yeah, those are fine. What else did I do? Purple sleeves don't need to change. Helmet doesn't need to change. Oh, although it's not called helmet, it's called pointed helmet. Uh, pointed helmet. Uh, and uh, yeah, that one didn't change. Uh, no back, that's reuse, re reusing that from before. Uh, chest plate, we. We did update that one. Uh, yeah, okay. So tall boots, the white gloves, yeah. So I need to do white gloves, which is really simple. Uh, it's just, uh, what? No. Uh, it's basically just to replace the, uh, just replace the hands, basically. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to do any like weird trickery or anything. I'm just going to do it very straightforward, simple manner. Just uh, draw over the hands that we have here. Uh, so, uh, yes, let's uh, add in a new layer. Uh, let's put it up with hand zero. And I'm just like draw in gloves, gloves and gloves and gloves and gloves, all the gloves. So many gloves. I'm in glove with all of these gloves. I've fallen madly in glove. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think sometimes I have a competition with my brain to see how dumb a thing I can say before my brain like literally just like shuts down and is no longer able to process like new stimulus um, <laughs> I'm really good at it too <laughs> uh, and then everyone loses it's not a very fun game <laughs> and yet I play it surprisingly often actually wait no I should be doing this the other round I should be doing I should be starting with the darker tone going in getting the darker tone sufficiently covered then uh, then putting in the shading or the lighting uh, yeah, that's better. Uh, all right, and so I can also sculpt it because it doesn't have to be quite so large. Uh, I can bring it down a little bit, keep it tidy, and uh, yeah, that's basically that. Uh, so now I should have to put these on the correct layers, and and yeah. So uh, let's move this one down to. Uh, a layer down here, so hands layer two, uh, paste, and then so we can squish this down, and then uh, back up here, hand zero, we can squish this down too. Uh, or no, excuse me, hands layer twenty seven, we can squish this down onto hands layer zero. All right, cool. So now we'll just take a. So yeah, the data and like extents have not changed since. Uh, since this was uh, the hands with purple sleeves. Uh, so we can just uh, copy here, uh, white gloves. Uh, and then just 
edit these and basically just paste over them with the with the gloves uh, do, 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 do. so uh, copy this uh, file new or no not file new new layer uh, paste and oh technically I use one pixel further down so I guess I might as well accommodate that so canvas size uh, height is now 35 uh, uh, whoops, oh, wrong layer. That silly whatever. I don't know why. I, it always, whenever you expand the canvas size, it fills with like white paint instead of with like nothingness. I don't get it. I don't know why they do that, but they do that. And it's not my favorite thing. Wait, is that lined up? Yeah, I think so. Uh, alright, that's fine. Uh, so, right, so, now let's go to the background. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Ah, uh, whatever. Hold on, wait, I can do this. Uh, it was, like, to here, I think? Yeah, there we go. Wait, was it one further? Nope, it was not. <laughs> it was just the there. Alright. Uh, so, save that. Uh... Wait, did I open this from the correct place? Yeah, white gloves, okay. Uh, Alright, so save this. Uh, yes. Just want to make sure I wasn't accidentally overwriting the other one by accident. Uh, Alright, so let's image, uh, canvas size, change the height to 35. 35, and then, uh, doop -ba doop, doop -ba doop -ba doop. Uh, save that. Uh, but then we also we do have to replace the glove as well, so. Uh, go to hands layer 2, no, hands layer 2, not head layer 2, copy that, uh, come over here, paste this, this one I think I can line up a little bit easier, so I don't have to, oh, no, I lied, right, because I, <laughs> I didn't merge those layers together, so I have to use, oh, no, I have to merge those layers together, uh, just to get it to work better, alright, so, squish them together, copy, undo the squish, alright, I'm pretty sure I can line this one up, because this one has like a few different points of reference, so there we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Alright, save that. So now we have the white gloves. Uh, so now the last step is just to uh, replace the sickle. What is all this weird yellow or like orange stuff happening down here? What the heck layer is that on? Oh, maybe this is that stuff that I kept seeing on the, uh, on the legs layer. Uh, was it like legs layer 2 or something? Oops. Uh... Wait, undo, undo, deselect. Yeah, I don't know where that is exactly, but it's stupid. Wherever it is. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to just leave it there. I'll just pretend it's not there. <laughs> no, what is it? It's like legs layer. Yeah, there we go. What a... Huh. I just, I'm like, I'm paranoid that I'm like accidentally erasing like the wrong thing but no this is fine yeah that was just left over because i didn't i didn't notice it before because it was hidden it was hidden by the sickle handle so it's completely safe to erase now that we got rid of okay good good all right save that uh do to do, do so wait, yeah so the last thing to do is is to make the uh the big dramatic banners i might not make them quite as long as before because like well, no, actually, that's fine. Because, like, they're going to draw in front of the wing, I think. So I just have to make it, sure that, make it so that... Yeah, so I'm, I'm only going to render the uh, the one in front. Like, I'll, I'll do it like we did before. Like, the one in back, like, technically will also exist, but we won't see very much of it. We'll only see, like, the top part where it, like, connects to other stuff. We won't actually see it, like, trailing out behind. And that way, because there are two of them, it, it'll look like the, the one in the foreground, like, the nearer of the two. It'll look like that one is... Uh, is uh is flapping in front of the wing but the other one you won't see so it'll almost look as though it's like behind the wing for example all right so this character is like <laughs> this character is like pretty much like a marauder i think is how i would describe this character but we're gonna whoops we're gonna lose the sickle uh not the legs the sickle uh and that will make our character the standard bear uh do 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 
uh, huh. Oh, I think I widened the helmet. I was like, why is this, why is this coming so close to the helmet? Whereas before there was like a little bit of a gap there, but whatever. It's not like that's a bad thing. Uh, I could use a slightly wider tool for this. Cause is this supposed to be like very thick or very, very, uh, very straight? Like, is this supposed to be like very rigid? I guess it's okay if there's a little bit of like a waver to it. I mean, pretty much everything I draw has a little bit of a waver to it. So yeah, that's fine. All right. And then this will come up pretty high though. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. So, uh, yeah, uh, that looks pretty good. And then, uh, right. So like as before, uh, Hey, that's the new follower noise. Uh, Onyxware, thank you very much for following. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> um, so, do, do, do. was I watching your stream yesterday? Did you stream yesterday, Onyxware? I was like, that name sounds familiar. That name sounds very familiar. <laughs> um, uh, do, do, do. So I think uh, I think I'm gonna foreshorten the. Uh, the, the, the flag a little bit this time. Last time I had it very wide, and it was very... I mean, maybe that's fine, actually. Yeah, no, go big or go home, right? Yeah, I might as well make it cooler. Way cooler. Let's just make it as cool as possible, right? As cool as possible. All the way. Uh... Uh... Doo -doo -doo. Uh, yeah, because we're replacing the sickle, and some people might be, like, a little bit, like, not enthusiastic about, like, hey, I was that cool marauder character, and now I'm, like, this not-as-cool standard bear. Uh, so I might as well make it so that that's not a concern, because we'll just make the standard bear as cool as possible, and then we won't have to worry about it. All right, so I'm going to actually use a different layer for the flag, because um, I, I want to be able to, like, redraw and reshape and, and tweak and tune a lot of that stuff, and, uh, and not have to worry about accidentally, uh, crushing the, uh, the shape of the, the, the flag stick, whatever. Uh, yeah, so, oh, that's the other thing. Uh, yeah, I think I actually want to angle it forwards a little bit. I don't want it to be, like, I don't want it to be, like, completely up and down. I want it to be, like, slightly tilted forwards, but I'll do, I'll worry about that later. Just like not not even nearly that dramatic. Just like just like a very slight tilt forwards. Um, or maybe it's fine how it is. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I'm gonna make the brush a little bit thicker, and so we'll connect as such. And that might be a little. Yeah, that's probably a little too low. Uh, so it'll connect as such. And then uh, yeah. So it'll trail. We'll trail back, and so for this one, for this flag, like it'll trail back, and then you you'll kind of lose track of it pretty quick. Like maybe it'll maybe it'll go back like this or something, but then you don't really see where it goes. Uh, you don't, yeah, you don't, you don't get any, and there'll, there'll probably be a little bit of a waiver to it to make it look like it's animating with the rest of the flag, but uh, there's not going to be any. Uh, significant uh, change. All right, all right, but whereas for this side, this side is going to come back and like flap down. And it's going to be kind of like the, uh, it's going to be like the, uh, like the, uh, the bandit, or the, the brigand's mask, I think. Uh, it's because it's going to be like, uh, like in one frame it's going to be like this, and then the other frame it's going to be like, uh, so yeah, so in one frame it's going to like, it's going to come down like or it's it's gonna you know it's gonna come down like that and then the other frame it's gonna come uh wait what's the what's the other frame the other frame it's gonna like come out like that I guess uh as like the two so just so it looks like it's like flopping a little bit in the breeze also it's not gonna be quite as uh stubby at the end it's gonna be a little bit more pointed and yeah basically like that I think uh well hold on wait that that doesn't taper quite right uh so. I mean, it's okay. It's just, uh, I want to be very subtly different. As with most things in life, 
it's almost fine, except that I want it to be slightly different. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to switch over to screen cam for, or to face cam for just one moment. I apologize for the brief delay, because I'm not actually going anywhere. Um, so, you know, I'll just kick it into away mode, because I'm going to be boring for a moment. <laughs> so you might as well have something to do while I'm being boring. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I'm literally, I just, because I'm doing Signal Jam tomorrow, uh, I want to let people know about it, and I just, I feel like, I don't, like, if I, whenever I wait until the end of the stream to, like, tell people about stuff, I, um, I always feel like it's super late, because, like, I tend to, I, I don't want to stop streaming early just to, like, tweet something, and, uh, but if I, if I stay too late, then I'll, I'll like, I don't know, I'll feel like, I don't know, okay, anyways, uh, <laughs> so, uh, 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 tomorrow, um, uh, so tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's date is 325, uh, 325, uh, 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 so, uh, uh, collaborative, uh, 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 on, uh, uh, or tomorrow, so tomorrow starts, uh, uh, starts, uh, the, uh, fifth, uh, uh, collaborative, uh, on stream, or, uh, collaborative game jam, uh, hosted on, uh, uh, live, uh, stream, uh, uh, signal, uh, jam, uh, five, uh, uh, all are uh, welcome uh, to participate or observe uh, uh, tomorrow. Three twenty-five starts the. Oh, I should say, I should say the time. So tomorrow, uh, or so the 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 fifth collaborative uh, game jam on host stream. Uh, doop -a doop. Sorry, I just I. I like I'm stupid about writing these things, which is why I uh, I knew it was going to be boring, and I figured I should uh, uh, uh yeah. Sorry, I'm almost done though. So our fifth collaborative uh, uh, game jam hosted on live stream. Uh, our, fir our fifth collaborative uh, game jam. Uh, Starts tomorrow. Uh, starts uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, Three twenty-five. Right, that's the date. Uh, at uh, at eleven uh, a.m. EST. Uh, all are welcome to participate or observe. Uh, all are welcome to participate or observe, not of observe. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, no, uh, uh, commit, uh, commit, uh, mint, uh, or, uh, ex uh, or experience, uh, required. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I should add an image or something. <laughs> it was not like I have like a, uh, it's not like I have a, uh, I never did promo art for Signal Jam before, so, uh, eh, whatever. Alright, uh, let's tweet that. And retweet it to my other account, because <laughs> I am a jerk who has multiple Twitter accounts. <laughs> uh, alright. <laughs> Sorry, that was all I wanted to do. I'll get back to, uh, I'll get back to being a, uh, a good host now. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, alright. Um, cool. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the delay. Uh, okay. So, uh, yep. Um, mm -hmm. so flags. Flappy, flappy flags. Oh, yeah, so shading for the flags. That was one thing I hadn't really thought of before. Or hadn't really thought about. 
uh, I do have the, the darker tone for shading. And yeah, I should shade them, so make them look like cloth. I'm going to, just so as not to mess up the shape that I had drawn for them already, I'm going to do this on a separate layer. And so, let's see. I guess, like, a lot of them actually would, a lot of it would be, would be, uh, would be covered up. So, uh, do, do, do. uh, like, yeah, because, like, I mean, I don't know, the way the, the flags are positioned, like, they're kind of, like, flapping, uh, they're like flapping, uh, like the flat, like the face that you're looking at would actually be more like in the, uh, in the shade. I might cheat it a little bit. Um, I could just skip the shading altogether. Uh, how does that look though? That seems fine. Yeah, I'll probably just do something like that. Um, so let's just, uh, finish that as such. And that's probably fine. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing over here. Uh, do, do, and oh yeah, right. I forgot. <laughs> I should probably just. Uh, I'm just gonna draw over that and then draw over it again with the other, because it's like I don't know, right? Like I just I don't feel like <laughs> I'm constantly like drawing it and erasing it and drawing it, right? Or like I don't know. It's just more. It's just easier to do it this way, I think. Uh, all right. Uh, sorry, there was like a little fleck right on my monitor, right on top of where I was drawing, and it was making it hard to see what I was. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, doop -a so yeah, and then uh, oh yeah, so I, I should put some shading on the uh, on the staff. Uh, just cause. So uh, it doesn't have to be dramatic shading, but like. Just a little bit to, so it doesn't look quite as flat. Uh, do, do, do. Actually, I can just draw right across that. <laughs> I stopped like right at the hand, but I forgot I can just draw right past it because it's on a separate layer. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, do, do, do. Oops. Oh yeah, and I should actually, I should go back to the other layer to draw the shadowing on this top part of the flag, because that way I can draw underneath the flags. Ah, uh, do do do, whoops. Uh, robble, robble. I can do this. There we go. That was not hard. <laughs> I don't know why that seemed hard. Uh, Alright, and then, uh, so on this layer, uh, yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look quite right, but... Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Um, Alright, so, yeah. So this is like one frame of animation. Uh, I can flatten these, or... Oh, no, I shouldn't flatten them, because... Uh, I can flatten the shading. Oh, yeah, I should have put the shading... I should put the shading all on the stick. Like, the stick shading. I should have done that all on one layer. Uh... Just because, like, well, yeah, no, actually, no, this is fine. I'll just, uh, I can squish the, I'll stick, I'll squish the stick shading down, or the, uh, I'll squish all the shading onto the, uh, the flag layer, and then I'll just duplicate that layer, and then I'll just read the, redraw the part of that layer that I want to have changed for the other frame of animation. So, um, yeah, so let's hide one of these for now. Uh, and then I can take turns squishing these layers onto the stick to, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, okay, so let's color pick here. Uh, go back to size three brush, and uh, so right. So in the next frame animation, it's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go initially up higher, and then come down, and then curve out. So it's gonna come up higher. It's gonna curve. Oops, wrong tool. Uh, it's gonna curve. So up higher. It's gonna curve down, and then eventually tail out a little bit. Uh, uh, so actually, yeah, I guess I should even have it come a little more dramatically like this. 
uh, and maybe even a, more, a little more dramatically like this. Uh, and then like this. All right, so I think that'll be like roughly what the other frame of animation is like. Uh, except now I need to get like the thickness and stuff on point. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this frame just so I don't have to toggle frames like constantly. Uh, file new file new. Okay, paste. Uh, all right, so that's what one frame looks like, and then the other one. Uh, when you get into shape, what? Oh, whoops! <laughs> I hit the wrong layer. <laughs> uh, all right, that's actually pretty close. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I just want to. I want to put a little more heft in the middle, a little more thickness in the middle. Uh, just so it looks like they're a little more substantial, not quite as flimby. And then I think I need to make the yeah the the tip got I think it, it got a little bit long and it got a little bit blunt. What the heck layer man? The wrong one. You guessed the wrong layer. <laughs> You're right. Uh yep, always the wrong layer. Perpetually the wrong layer. I guess the good news is that I I don't typically tend to do terrible harm with this stuff. Uh, ugh. All right, hold on. <laughs> undo, 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 undo. Uh, like I didn't actually draw over the helmet. I just draw. <laughs> I just drew really close to drawing over the helmet. Like disturbingly close. Whoops. Ah, what am I doing? Uh, I can actually clip the helmet a little bit because it's it's actually the lower layer of the helmet that I drew. It's the layer of the lower layer of the helmet that I drew on. So I can actually cut that and it won't, yeah, it won't mess up the helmet. All right, but this was supposed to go on this other layer, of course. Uh, which one? This one down here? No, that's the original one. This one. Yeah, these are supposed to go together. So, wait, wait. Oh yeah, wait, I didn't paste it yet. Uh, there we go, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Smush that together. Alright, so how, does the, how do these look? Yeah, that looks about right. That's kind of how I was picturing it. Except, uh, oh yeah, so it's still a little too uh, f flubby at the end. Uh, that was the other thing I was going to fix. Uh, yeah, just, uh, oops, that's not right. But like, it just, it just comes down a little too long and a little too stumpy-like, I guess. Uh, uh, how's that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, and then I'll do, so I'll want to do the other one too. Oh, and I want to, uh, uh, I mean, it's a subtle detail, but I'll want to, uh, uh, make sure that this stretches correctly as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, and of course shading and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, let's do the other one first. Uh. So, uh, uh, do, do, do. so this will, yeah, so in this case, these will, I guess, come a little tighter together. So this will be a little more visible up here, but again, like, there, there won't be any resolution to this. It'll just be, uh, it'll still be as before. Uh, all right, so... Uh, do do do. So like that, and I can. It doesn't even have to come down as low down here anymore. Uh, do do do. And then uh, yeah, but it is still uh, it is still quite shaded. Uh, correctly. Uh, <laughs> important distinction. Um. And uh, over here as well. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, a little too much. A little overly uh, eager there. Or something. Uh, 
yeah, that should be, well, actually, hold on. I'm just going to shave it down slightly. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, and actually shave it a little bit there as well. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done both of those. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, right, so now shading on, on this side over here, and then we're getting there. Oops. Uh, oops. Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, roll, roll. <laughs> Sometimes when you hit undo, it'll switch you back to whatever tool you were using at the previous step that it undid. And uh, it's startling. It messes me up few, every now and again. Uh, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, I got a little... I should have done that on a separate layer. I've been doing that type of stuff on separate layers for a while. And so... No, I should, I should just go back and do that on a separate layer. <laughs> Because, uh, it's just, uh, it's like, when you're working with, like, multiple tones, uh, on, like, an interesting shape, like, a, an interesting curve or something like that, it's, you, you know, you want to go back and you want to get, like, not just the outer curve, uh, to, to line up, you also want to get the, uh, you also want to get the, uh, the, uh, uh, The, the the curve between the two sh changes in tone you want to get that to line up as well or you want to get that to be like the same curve right because like if you're trying to represent like the shape uh, as you know like typically yeah like so like if you like for example in a sphere if a sphere is going to be round right and then the the shading like the um the different color the different tones of uh oops what am I doing wrong tool uh, the different tones of like uh of shading that you have around it are also going to be, uh, they're going to follow the same, like, curvature. Uh, I mean, they might not be, like, literally concentric circles, but, uh, there's going to be a, uh, a shared sort of, like, you'll, you'll want to, yeah, replicate that around this. So, uh, if you have it all, if you're trying to, like, do all of those things on the same layer, it can get really, it's really hard to, like, adjust one of those, uh, shapes without accidentally, like, adjusting other ones in a way that you didn't necessarily want. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Yakimus. Yeah, the, I think the shines really help sell the, uh, like, a sense of, like, regal, sort of, like, you know, this isn't just, like, dingy armor that you found, like, uh, on the side of, uh, the side of the road or anything. This is, like, you know, like, this is, uh, this is, this is, uh, uh, this is armor fit to carry a flag while wearing, I guess. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's funny. They end at, like, the almost the exact same point. Like, this little spot on the screen right here, like, they, both of them, like, end at, like, that exact point, which is kind of funny. I don't think it'll look too weird. I think it'll look fine uh, when animated, because, like, they'll also be moving across the screen, but it might look a little bit funny. Uh, like, in the in this still shot, uh, it'll look a little bit funny. Uh, but that's fine. I don't care. All right, so, good. So now we just have to export this. So yeah, so the funny thing now is that we take extents on this, and these extents extend quite far, as you might notice. Like, because uh, these are actually part of the hands, technically. So, uh, so yeah, so the first thing I'll do is I'll sh show both of the layers, or all the layers, and I'll take extents. Wow, it goes literally to the top of the image. I, think that's, I mean, that's definitely the first time that's happened. Uh, oh yeah, so we only have to go down as far as the hands, right? Uh, oh no, no, we, do, we have to go down as far as the stick on the bottom. Oh yeah, speaking of the stick on the bottom, how does the bottom of it look? It's been covered up by this foot, so I never actually really had a chance to to look at how that would go. But, oops, no, not that. Uh, does it, yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't quite end <laughs> quite right. Uh, so actually, yeah, I'll just, uh, I can continue taking extents. Because uh, what extents they are. Uh, the, I mean, I guess hypothetically, this should kind of rest on the ground a little bit. So I'll, I'll make it come down. I'll make these the extents. And uh, we can uh, we can go down to layer 2.5, color pick the stick, and just finish it off as such. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Before it was looking a little unresolved. Uh, 
Uh, excellent. So these are the extents, and so now, uh, yeah. So the easy one is uh, <laughs> is hands layer zero because this one barely, this one didn't really change. So file new. Oh yeah, I should do the data file too. Uh, this is <laughs> this is what one of the layers looks like. Um, this is layer zero. Uh, so this is equipment uh, hands uh, uh, new folder uh, like that. One. Banner, uh, not really, but whatever. All right. Uh, so this is layer zero. Uh, okay. Save that. And then, uh, yeah. So hide layer zero. Uh, oh yeah, data file. I forgot to do the data file. Or before I forget to do the data file, I should do the data file. Uh, so what do I call it? Banner. Uh, oh yeah, I should be consistent about what I call it. So like, banner. Apparently, it's called now. Uh, it doesn't feel exactly like a flag because it had like the two long drapey things. I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, yeah. So okay. So new uh, text document data dot txt. Uh, this is what are the extents? What are the coordinates of this? These extents. Uh, they are uh, forty six zero <laughs> zero because it goes literally to the edge, and then seventy two eighty. Some big stuff. Big flags. Uh, and then, all right, so yeah, so so one of these will be what? Oh yeah, so layer 29 and 27, I think I can put together. Like this, these two, yeah, these two layers, there's just the, the shading, yeah, so this these two I can put together. Uh, and then, so one of the frames of animation will be, oh, does it matter like which is which? Probably not. Uh, probably doesn't matter which is which. Hold on, let me bring the legs back for a second. Uh, it's weird to see him without legs. Uh, all right, so that uh, that either of these are probably fine. Yeah, I'll do uh, I'll do these ones together. Okay, so that would make this. Uh, so this one is layer. Oh, th so this would this would be frame zero. All right, so I'll just put them in order. Uh, all right, so uh, so let's squish, 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 or squish, squish these together, and then copy this, and then file new. This is frame zero. All right, so <laughs> there's actually a hole in the flag as it turns out, <laughs> but it's behind the it's behind the character's head, so you never really notice. Oh, I might want to patch that up just because. Just because, uh, or so actually, this is frame two. Yeah, this is frame two. Um, I might want to patch that up just because if you, if we change the helmet before we change the rest of the before we change the flag, which we probably will, it, some of that might become visible. So I'll want to make sure that that's actually patched up. Uh, but I can do that here. Uh, all right. So the other thing we want to do is undo, undo. Uh, yeah, and then move this layer here, move this layer out, squish these ones together and copy because this is the other one so new okay paste uh and then yeah so this one also has issues <laughs> so let's save this as uh so this is side three uh okay all right so <laughs> let's uh let's just patch those up real fast uh we probably won't see most of this but there's just the the slightest off chance that we'd see some of it so we just want it looking Reasonable, reasonably good. Uh, do, do, do. All right. Uh, actually, I think I narrowed it down a little more than I meant to. Uh, yeah. So that's that's mostly good. Uh, do, do, do. All right. I'll stop picking at it. That one's fine. Nah. Well, whatever. There's no there's no harm in extending it further. So might as well. Because uh, this is all covered up by the head, anyways, and so I just want to make sure that it, it, like, if I if this if I made this too small, I mean the difference is that I just have to come back and fix it up later. But if I made this too small, then uh, then uh, oh yeah, I should go back and undo the squishing of those layers together. Uh, undo undo yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer as well. Now that I think about it. Duplicate this layer as well, and I'm going to squish these together. I mean, I'm about to replace them with the stuff that I'm doing on the other layers, but whatever. Because this is actually like hands 2.5 and hands 3.5 is what's happening here. Uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, so, uh, yes, let's, the same thing here, let's patch up this one so it looks a little less crunky. Uh, whoops, undo. Uh, it's funny, it literally looked like I rendered a hole in the flag. Like, it literally looked like I was trying to draw the rip, the flag ripped, but nope, just, uh, kind of came out that way in this, in the patch behind the head where I, I couldn't see what was going on. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this curve curved out a little bit nicer and then uh, yeah and then we can uh, we can save these uh, now that they're patched up and uh, and then we can actually put them back in the main image too so uh, this one goes on which layer this one is uh, I think this was zero right yeah this was zero uh, so this one goes uh, or as sorry, two, not zero. So this one goes here. What was it? It was like sixty-four zero or something. Oh, wait, that's easy enough to line up. Uh, okay. And uh, and then uh, oh, oh oh oh, this has the hand attached to it, which I guess is fine. I'm gonna skip that though, because I didn't actually, I didn't actually do anything with the hand. So undo, 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 undo. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Select everything except the hands. Uh, copy, uh, paste. It uh, was easy enough to line up last time. Probably going to be pretty easy this time as well. There we go. Uh, yes, and then uh, same thing here. Uh, lasso as such, and uh, copy and. Uh, and then this layer and line up as such. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, uh, so, yeah, there we go. We did it. We did it. <laughs> so, uh, I can bring back the hand that's missing. Uh, and we did it. We have our standard bear. So, uh, <laughs> you got it, Marty. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah. What's up? Uh, what's up? <laughs> what's up now? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can do the GIF. Um, and we can do... Uh, so we can hide, uh, we can hide Choops, because Choops will not feature in the gif uh we can do the gif uh we can uh oh we can update the order data and we can oh and we write the uh we can write the uh little blips about it so uh did i did i get these all named correctly white gloves leg armor banner and i, I know check the earlier names but let me just double check this so banner yeah uh white gloves yeah because if I get the name wrong, it just crashes, which is not a big deal, but uh, <laughs> it's better to get it correct the first time. Uh, so, uh, leg armor. Okay, good. Got. Oh, whoops, no, I accidentally put a space in here. Not a space, an underscore. That would have crashed. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad that pressing control S in the file system doesn't do anything bad, because I sometimes do it occasionally. Um, <laughs> your mice, uh, your mice, his, he's, he's been walking for miles and his little tiny legs have been getting tired. So he's, uh, he's resting is what's happening. Uh, he didn't, you didn't, your mice didn't, your mouse didn't leave you. Uh, he's, he's just resting. He or she is just resting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, I thought about that because, right, like you, what does it mean when you get a new animal pan companion and you no longer have your other animal companion? Uh, so don't worry, I thought that through. It's part of the lore. It's part of the canon. This is, a. Uh, it's, it is official. Um, one thing I was thinking of doing, possibly, was letting you choose what animal companion you had with you. The only thing about that is that the turtle, 
you can't choose all the time because the turtle rides on your head and so technically you can only have the turtle with you um if you have the appropriate headgear like uh like if you had a hat that was like too pointed or if you had a hat that was like that a turtle would like not sit on correctly then so that i don't know i was thinking of doing that but then at the same time like i don't know maybe someday i could do that i mean like i could like i have two different versions of the turtle because like there are two different head pieces that you wear while with the turtle so like i had to actually change it to like sit at different heights so i could I, like i could i could accommodate that somehow but like i also want to do stuff like i, I want to do like a a, a, a a snake that like drapes around your shoulders and that would be impossible because like all the different like shoulder gears that you could have so i might make it so that like some of your pets you can summon to you uh at you know if you if you felt like it but um yeah, no. For don't for for the for the meantime, it's just that your 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 former animal companions are they're still your companions. They just they're not um, you know they got a little worn out. Did you know that humans um, have the capacity to travel the furthest of any animal? Uh, like if you if you if if literally every animal were in a not like a race, but in like a in like a marathon where you were like allowed to walk at like whatever pace like humans um humans can go not fastest uh but furthest uh of like any animal uh without like dying and it's because we can sweat through our skin uh other animals like pant because they can't uh and they would uh their body temperatures would get like they can't regulate their body temperature effectively enough uh so that is why your animal companion cannot stay with you all the time. Because they can't regulate their body temperature well enough. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, so, uh, so I was gonna, so this is the future order version of the, the document, but we can actually make this the, uh, or we can actually just, I'll just transfer the uh, pertinent information over into the other version. How many levels is this? Six levels? Yeah. That's fine. That seems to be about standard now. I think there used to be more levels between each, like, major version before, but, um, levels went faster earlier on in the game, and so I didn't feel as bad about giving out, like, an unimpressive piece of armor earlier in the game. But it's gotten to the point where, like, I feel like every level should be pretty significant. Because for one thing, every level replaces something that was pretty significant previously, so, yeah. Uh, alright. Um... So let's, uh, so yes, let's go to, uh, equipment, uh, order, and slap this in here as well. Uh, save that. All right, cool. And then, uh, yeah, so we don't have level messages done yet. I can delete this future order. Uh, do, do, do. and yeah, we haven't done level messages, uh, so that would be a good thing to do. Uh game data, uh, level messages, and then, yeah, I don't have the, uh, I also don't have the, of course, I don't have the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the, uh, the gift done for the, uh, for the, for the new look either. Oops, what just happened? Uh, so this is, uh, so shoulder armor is not a new level. Uh, Purple sleeves is a uh, is a new level. It's level fifty three. Uh, is this? Oh, I think those are tabbed. I was like putting in spaces, but I think these are supposed to be tabs. <laughs> Tab. Uh, yeah. Oops. Whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, so pointed helmet is level fifty four. Uh, no back is not a new level. Chest plate is level 55. Uh, tall boots is level 56. Uh, white gloves is not a new level. Leg armor is level, whoops, is level uh, 57. Whoops, 57. And then uh, banner is level 58. All right. Excuse me. Um, so, uh, yeah, all right, so message messages messages oh wait that one doesn't get one this one does 
and this one does, and uh, this one does, and this one does, and uh, this one does, and uh, this one does. You uh, represent your uh, allegiances proudly. Uh, uh, and then this is where the URL goes, and then uh, it ends with dash dash. Uh, yes. Uh, allegiances is not a word, or I spelled it wrong. Uh, how many characters is that? That's only 38 characters, so that's fine. Allegiances. How did I spell it? Oh, with an E. Oh, oh no, I'm transposed. Okay, interesting. Uh, allegiances. <laughs> really? Allegiances? That's weird. Uh, is that the word I think it is? Define allegiances. Uh, sure. Uh, Alright, so purple sleeves, uh, oh, and shoulder armor. Uh, you, uh, uh, what is, uh, what is it that, um, why is it that you're getting this armor? I guess because, like, uh, uh, so, uh, as a, as, like, what, as, like, a, as a, as a, uh, as a, uh, a prominent, uh, figure now, it, uh, couldn't, uh, hurt to, uh, to, uh, bear, uh, oh wow, this is getting really long really fast. I'm only allowed 70 something characters. Oh, like, I think 80 characters. I'm trying not to exceed 80 characters. Wait, is it even 80 characters? It might not even be 80 characters. It might be like 70 characters. Um, I'm only at 52 so far. This a prominent figure I couldn't hurt to bear. Um, some extra armor. Uh, yeah, how many characters is that? Uh, that's only, that's like 69 characters, that's fine. Okay, so pointed helmet, um, uh, 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 so, uh, so in, uh, your, uh, new helm, uh, you, uh, radiate a, uh, sense of authority, uh, chest plate, um, uh, the, uh, the sun, uh, glints fiercely, uh, spelled correctly, fiercely spelled correctly, <laughs> off, uh, your, uh, uh, your, uh, your new, uh, metal, uh, uh, chest plate. Uh, tall boots, um, Uh, so you, uh, you trade in your, uh, uh, your dusty kickers, uh, for, uh, a, trade in your dusty kickers for, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not laughing at your misfortune, I just, um, I, it, it did amuse me, I, I admit, I'm sorry, it, but it did, I, I apologize for laughing, I shouldn't have laughed, okay, uh, I, yeah, you trade in your dusty kickers for, uh, 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 some, uh, sleek, uh, uh, standard issue, uh, treads. Uh, standard issue, probably not hyphenated. Is this too long? This is 71 characters. Um, 
for uh, some sleek standard issue treads that fixes it <laughs> for some sleek standard issue treads uh, standard issue is probably not hyphenated I don't know let's find out I feel like it should be in this situation because it's it's not like standard issue treads it's like standard issue I don't know uh, standard uh, issue uh, oh all right well it's probably because I hyphenated it but like auto or autocomplete also had some no Nah, not really. Uh, whatever, I'm going to hyphenate it. Because I'm a jerk. I don't care what the internet says. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, so leg armor. Um, uh, uh, these are what? Um, these are, uh, I, I kind of touched on the points that I wanted to get across, like, like, you know, protective gear, authoritative figurefulness, like shiny, <laughs> Those are like the broad strokes, uh, the important points that I wanted to get across uh, with this, with this regalia. Um, <clears throat> I guess, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, what else is there to say about it? I guess just make a stupid joke. Because, um, <laughs> like, what else is there? <laughs> That's like all I have in my toolkit. Uh, alright, so, <laughs> let's, uh, let's say, lastly, uh, not lastly, I mean, lastly is you represent your allegiance proudly, but, uh, second to lastly, penultimately, uh, 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 I think, uh, Um, so you fasten, uh, I think people will notice the, uh, the leg parts, and I think people will more likely overlook the, uh, uh, the knee parts. So actually, I'll just be ambiguous. So you, uh, uh, fasten, uh, 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 you fasten on uh, some, or you, you fasten on uh, additional uh, additional uh, protective uh, uh, plating. Um, I mean, you don't get any more armor after this, so it's this is like kind of like the conclusive uh, point. So, uh, for, so you fasten on additional protective plating for. Uh, Are you fasten on additional uh, plating for uh, uh, for uh, complete uh, uh, protection? Did I say protection? No. Uh, protection. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Excellent. All right. I still need the URL though, which means I still need the GIF images. So let's uh, let's bang that out real fast. I don't know why I just made it. I don't know why I said that sounding so weird in my face, but I did, <laughs> and it happened. Deal with it. No. Um, okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, so let's go to projects. Uh, site. Uh, about. Nope. I lied. Uh, <laughs> side quest. Uh, level. What is this EV thing? Is that a real thing? No, that's not a real thing. You can delete that. Uh, level. Uh, template. Uh, so one thing I want to do is to change the color of the background, which, yeah, how do I do that? I guess I just make a new layer, and, and then I, uh, wait, how does this work? Yeah, I take this color, sorry, I haven't done this recently. <laughs> Uh, and then I spill this color. 
No, I've, well, first I'll do the uh, first I'll do the the rounded rectangle. I guess. Yeah. Uh, get it right to the edges. 